You're acting so funny. What's wrong, Billy? My doctor says I have skipped. A hustler that doesn't control the table isn't much of a hustler. Time is the fire in which we burn. Don't you agree? Everything will happen exactly as I predict. A hustler that doesn't control the table isn't much of a hustler. Where you look is where the ball will go. Hmm. <laughs> Another wager? For the forerunners, it's always more difficult. They tread the unknown paths, and these paths are not straight. They have sharp turns, surprises, and dangers. But anyone who takes the pathway into orbit never wants to leave it. And no matter what difficulties or obstacles there are, they are never strong enough to deflect such an individual from their chosen path. While their heart beats in their chest, a cosmonaut will always continue to challenge the universe. I'm not going to let it end this way. Hmm. Hmm. 
You managed to pierce the veil of death itself to fight me. It's a local. Psst. Over here! You are very confused right now. That's an understatement. And this is a dream, right? <laughs> I wish. It's somewhere outside of time. Reality follows different rules here. Every memory of everything that has ever happened passes through here. How do I get back? You came here on purpose. You probably don't remember that, though. You can't take memories out of a timeline, so you left them behind when you came here. Over here! Behind that door is your memory palace. If you can get in, you can access your memories again. Who are you? I know it seems crazy, but I'm exactly who you think I am. What, are you famous or something? I'm not impressed. Only, I'm not really here. What you're talking to right now is a daemon. A demon? A daemon. It's like an echo of myself that follows the instructions I left for it. I set this up to activate if, well, if you're seeing this message, then I'm probably already dead. Or worse. Oh, it's a jet. Eh, it was nothing. Comrade, we swore an oath to serve. Even if it means putting our lives on the line. Drill. It's all, all for the Fatherland, my dear deputy. I almost sounded like I meant it that time. Now. If you please see to my lovely little jet plane, I have to clean up for the staff meeting later. Does the quartermaster know? I'll deal with this. That's the capacitor you need to power up. You need to send a signal to it with that transistor. A transistor receives a signal through the collector and sends it through the emitter. But you forgot about that. Stuff comes in and stuff comes out. Got it. Now the collector only accepts signals of the type shown here. The emitter only sends signals of the type shown here. This one takes a different kind of signal than it sends. Oh, I get it. A transistor can turn one kind of signal into something else. So why isn't it sending a signal to the capacitor right now? Uh, there isn't any signal for it to transmit? That's a problem. <laughs> Not for you. Everything you can see and touch is formed from the memory of time. You can sense the individual fragments that reality is made of. The disassembled memory of time. So all you need to do is change history's memory of that transistor 
so that it's fully powered. Pretty easy. To change a memory, you have to know its location in time. The memory address. Lucky for you, I managed to save the memory address for the signal charge of this transistor. You're welcome, by the way. Have a look. Now that you know where it is, change the value of the charge so that the transistor is fully powered. How much is that? Good question. I don't know. Just change it to be something really big. I can't believe that really worked. I'll meet you in the next memory cell. <laughs> Alright, I'll meet you in the next memory cell. Don't stop. Keep going. If you're not really here, how are we having a conversation? Super advanced AI, right? <laughs> uh, not really. I've just predicted everything you were going to say. You know everything I was going to say before I said it. <laughs> Things usually turn out the way I say they will. Yana, Yana. Staff Sergeant Yana. Good morning, Senior Lieutenant. Let's have a little chat in private. All right? Yes, sir. You know why we're here. Yes, sir. Of course, I can't try to cut a deal with her. It shows that she has something I want. I can't give anyone that kind of leverage. Not to mention eventually the rest will find out she's getting special treatment. Of course I can't do that. If she fought back and won, she'd be shipped off to the Gulag so fast her head would spin. But then I'd be a laughingstock for getting trashed by a subordinate. Of course, I can't do anything that would wind up on an official record. Every reprimand makes it seem like I have less control over the company. Surely I'll end up in the vacant captain's position any day now as long as I don't screw up. You will not rest until my jet shines. And you'll use a toothbrush to do it. Yes, sir. Faster, idiots. You'll have this cleaned up by nightfall, or nobody's getting leave for the rest of the year. Aren't you glad you're not her deputy? Yeah. That's what you're doing out here, hmm? Traveling through time? <laughs> uh, I'm just out here because I don't like parties. Seems like for the past week, every now and then, my vision dims out for a second or two. To be honest, it's a little scary. If it doesn't clear up soon. Ah, <laughs> oh, well, anyway, I'll see you later. This transistor is a generator. It never runs out of power. Why not? I'll make captain by next week. <laughs> I 
I wish. But think about it. Captain Brzezinski tra- <laughs> I wish. But think about it. Captain Brzezinski transferred over a month ago. And they haven't filled the vacancy. So, it's probably gonna be an internal placement. And who's next in line? Me. This transistor is fully powered. But the capacitor isn't powered up. Look at the symbol above the transistor. It isn't the same symbol as the one on the capacitor. You'll need to switch the transistor signal type to be the same type of signal that powers the capacitor. What's the memory address for this one? About that. The location where a memory is stored changes all the time. Even if I told you what it was for me right now, it won't work by the time you see this message. But, if you try to sense the memories in this room, you might be able to find it. You had the memory address for the last one. That was a static object. It never changes. Obviously. I can rewrite these memories, right? So... I just start changing them all until I get to the right one? You don't have time for that. Look for a memory with a value that matches the type of signal emitted by the transistor. So it must... This is a switch. It changes the signal type of anything connected to it. I see. So I can use it to make a direct path for the signal to power up the capacitor. There isn't much time. If you get your memories back faster than I did, you might still be able to save her. Save her? Save who? Either I didn't think you would say that, or I didn't hear you clearly. If it was a question, try rephrasing it. What? Either I didn't think you would say that, or... I didn't mean repeat what you just said.
Oh, actually, I think I could just talk to everybody instead of being on chat. There, I have noticed a few bugs, but no game-breaking bugs yet. Um, this latest bug that is very annoying, which has happened before, but I thought I fixed, but it clearly didn't, is the conversation often hangs um, in the last room. The save her, save who? Either I didn't think you would say that, um, which prevents the conversation from this guy from triggering, and this is the, uh, he, you must not think about him. Uh, also, everything lags terribly in that last area, and I suspect it's because I have a lot of transparency stuff going on, so I should probably just get rid of it. Also, this is, I need more clutter, um, but here's some... It takes a long time to put clutter together for what it is. Uh, so here's a batch of clutter I put together. Also, I think because of the deferred rendering, I'm getting a lot of graphical issues. However, the deferred rendering lets this game run really quickly. <laughs> so I think I want to keep with the deferred rendering, but figure out how to you know, not have those graphical glitches, which happen around transparency, which deferred rendering is not great at. Uh -huh. Actually, I've got another theory that it's not deferred rendering, it's that I have um, some very aggressive back face culling going on in my uh, occlusion bake. Maybe I overproduct it. When I'm done with this, I'm going to see if I can less aggressively cull back faces. Maybe that'll fix it. Is this the kind of scene where it roots you in place for the duration you but lets you keep? And you don't see any also, some of these scenes uh, use a different subtitle system. Made. He isn't even a Slav! I think that might be the game's first mention of Sergei Ionescu, strongest man east of Caucasus. I'm glad you could join, Louise. Um, yeah, I noticed on my stream it's a bit laggy, too. It might just be my end. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, right. I changed the... Come on. Come on, baby. That did. There we go. Let me fix that later. The controls are a bit clumsy. I need to find a way to you know, make them better. No, oh, I'm gonna... It is also laggy for me. Hold up, I'm gonna fiddle with OBS and um, see if I can improve this situation. Stream... Come on, OBS. Stop. Let's reduce that video bit rate. Oh, now OBS is not responding. Eventually, none of the layout here is final. Um, it's sort of placeholdery that gets slightly better with each iteration. And the reason, I guess it'll be more dev time in the long run, but I've been going for incrementally improving placeholders mainly because. Uh, wait, what? Oh. <laughs> um, because I do demo this game, and so. Uh, sort of maintaining as pretty as possible it's for a photo steady rate of, of time Ionesco, is my strategy. It's the man in space. Especially like, I haven't seen enough photos of him already. Because ultimately I'll probably end up paying for my own marketing, and uh, so anything I can do helps. Uh, one thing I need to do is add some um, meshes to block the light behind these meshes to stop light from coming in through these seams. 
But yeah, in general, the plan is to have these scenes kind of scattered around where you can find them if you explore, but you can skip them if you want, although the story won't make any sense, but I want to give people options. And also kind of, a member of the, the fact that they're optional to set an example for all. maybe makes it feel I better to the player to actually watch them, like, you know. Excellence. The youth of this is being done with a render texture, a which I recently learned how to use. The future, so that's how I'm able to have it be bendy you like a CRT. And, and the resolution on these exactly is um, 480. So it's cool, you can Would get up close and see the low res. Senior um, I've also got yeah. that um, glitch shader just on the Would render texture, which helps because help I've got the scan lines on the screen at all times. So <coughs> I need to do more to distinguish the TV stuff. That wouldn't be possible. This scene will probably have kind of off the beaten path because it's not as immediately significant to the story. The secret lieutenant. Uh oh. What's up, Yana? Need to fix the way You're not supposed to be in the so officer's compound. I know, but it's important. I was playing billiards with Junior Lieutenant Mikulevna, and I ran out of money, so I. Uh -oh. I need to fix the animation. Yes, I bet the ring. The ring? My engagement ring. Oh, It's great. fixed in the other place where I'm begging appears. you to please get it back for me. Because I'm the best. Right? I've never <laughs> seen anyone I love better. that because it's get so telling, but I think a lot of the early stuff here seems kind of goofy here. and irrelevant, but is actually very important later. So the way Valentina says, because uh, I'm the best, right, is actually significant later, but it just kind of seems like a goofy throw. Everything seems goofy and throwaway right now. Let me know if you want me to explain anything. Again. So one thing I know is whether I want people to or not, people are going to go into this game with low expectations, so I'm going to take advantage of that. No matter how many times I activate the switch, this transistor isn't changing to the type of signal I want. Time to change the memory again, right? First, well, start looking for all actually. the memories here. I should probably use my headphones. Hold on. I'm going to plug in my headphones, so... The mic isn't picking up the game audio while I'm also broadcasting the game audio. I don't know, how's the audio standing? Can anyone even hear me? Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. And I'm now wearing my headphones, so oh, we should uh, now not have audio doubling up. Alright. I want to improve memory search Concentrate on the so value that you see every above time the transistor. you do the uh, D-pad thing, only the it goes to the next one over. Same value. I got started, but it would skip some sometimes by trying to go to the closest one. Uh, it was just enormously complicated and required a lot of math. So I, I have rolled back the code for this build, but eventually I returned to that. Or probably, you know, what I'm doing is I'm using a particle system to determine where to place these. And what I should really do is just roll my own so that I have greater control over where they actually show up. Because I'm basically lazily using... What I'm doing is I've got a bunch of particles that are invisible. And then I'm just placing these memory particles where the actual particles are. Uh, and I'm just using a particle system so I don't have to like manually figure out where to put them. It's lazy. Anyway. I'm getting some slowdown. I think it's probably because of all the transparent things. I should probably get rid of some of these. Oh, what is it? It's a square right now. That's still way too much. Activate the switch again. What I need to do is have a different action button, because otherwise you have this clumsy, like... I always cheat. Smart devs cheat. Oh, his audio didn't fire off. Oh, this has happened before. I need to fix this for the expo, because I know how to fix Like, this isn't a game-breaking bug, but this is going to not be good. Well, this bug has happened before. I've got a few bugs by regression, which is unfortunate. I need to fix the res on that. And that's the last one. Oh, and the door opening sound is so important, because otherwise there's not an immediate... I should probably just have that text message trigger again, like, you beat the room. Because um, otherwise, if that sound doesn't happen, then it's not immediately obvious you beat the room. And you even saw me earlier, I was staring at the capacitor for a while, being like, what? Why isn't the door opening? Realizing, no, the door had already opened, I just didn't hear it. Oh, shit. 
that glitch Unless works really well. Unless you don't have any courage left to show me. <laughs> that actually was kind of serendipitous, even though it was not supposed to happen. <laughs> so, you hate parties too. So I know everybody it's following this on Twitter to... already knows Yo. like what the scene is oh. about, but this is supposed <laughs> to be like right. the first Yohano time you've seen Valentine as not a decaying ghost. People's hero, Yohano, <laughs> so this is supposed to be like a what the fuck am I looking For at? Like alone, you are deserving to be sent to gulags. Good. So, you ever look at stars with a hero before? Alright, alright, okay, let's get this So, clear this right is, now. uh, me as Yona. If it you sounds pass. weird, I should probably redo it. But stars. actually, I'm matching inflection exactly yeah. and timing exactly for what, what uh, Michael right did as huh? Sergei in this scene. <laughs> That's the only thing I care about. I don't hate parties. Yeah. You ask if I hate parties. Well, I don't. I happen to like them a lot. Then what are you out here for? Did you know, Yakovlev? That I'm able to travel also time. need more animation. This is very placeholder, like they're not even so. moving. You would think so. But <sighs> I can only go back to the dream Bostock one two years ago. You can't even tell because this is 480p that uh but there's a desert behind him that is easier to see if <laughs> it's in full res. Moment, eh? It would be rude to time travel in the middle of party, so I stepped out in order to not be frightening people. Yeah. That's what you're doing out here. This is a big red herring of uh, time. some percentage of people are gonna hear her talking about time travel yeah, and think I'm that just out here because I don't like parties. I'm talking over her, that's probably why. <laughs> also, there's um uh oh, oh his teeth are visible. There's a lot of reverb on it because it's this is like not just a flashback; it's a glitchy, weird flashback into Valentine. Because this is one thing I'm sure most people will miss, but it's a subtle little uh thing, but uh-oh, who are we right now? Huh? Eh? Hmm. Privet, comrade. That needs to sound effect. Uh-oh, that hung. This is supposed to keep going. Bad problem. Why? These are F-mod problems. It's very frustrating when my event callbacks don't fire off. Anyway, fuck off, Nikolev. I don't like you anymore. Hey, Yakovlevna! Hey, Come odd. play with me! Some serious audio balancing. Just one. Let me pour you a glass of vodka. Make it a good one. Uh, also, I'm walking through the pool table. Better enjoy the carousing when you get your bed. I put stuff out the window, but uh oh, you can still see we're below the play space we were just on. So those are uh, the lights from the previous room, which I should have destroyed, but I didn't. And you can see distantly over there. Uh, the place where we talked to Yana. <laughs> Whoops. Oops, oops, oops. And glitchy as fuck. Probably from the aggressive calling. Just What's fun about this scene? Game and then I'll or Act this 1 sec. is uh, most more of the choices in Act Please. 1 are... Uh, they give you additional dialogue that reveals more you about Valentina. The but they don't affect the uh, path. Own. So I kind of want to... Uh-oh, this is hanging. Mm. I kind of want to trick people into thinking that choices really don't matter, but actually your choices in Act 2 and beyond are very significant for the path you get. So I guess it's my- I- it's probably bad game design, but I'm kind of tricking people into thinking the game is more shallow than it is. Because I'm kind of busy taking advantage of low expectations. And she just appeared. I feel like it's some 3D sounds going on. There should be more animation, this is very boring. So, Lieutenant Nikolai. And this radio has a 3D sound. You got the shiny new toy today. Oh yeah, more stuff. I'm sure most people won't even notice that um, we're actually Valentine right now. It's locked. Eh, this is randomized. It's locked. The different it's locked. Boink. It's Boink. locked. Just knocking my head on the wall. Oh, it's locked. You stand here, yeah. You can it's locked. The silhouette. Because right now, uh, it's not it's not I been made explicit the relationship change. between Valentina and Valentina. I can pawn this for more rubles than mm, you. It's a graphical got. glitches. Would you be willing to bet it that. against this? Your medal of valor. It's got real silver in it. Don't think any of you have one of these <laughs> yeah. unless you've been doing some dog fighting. I never oh, heard man. about. Oh man. No. A talent in this game is so good. Another so funny story about Nikolevna. 
She has a really weird voice, but I heard the audition, it was completely different from everybody else's audition, which played her as, you know, a, a young woman. And it was so fucking weird that I really was like, what the hell am I listening to? But I couldn't get it out of my head, I was so intrigued. Um, so that became the standout audition. <laughs> Am I going to make a bet? Uh, especially because after a while, you know, young women who have a Russian accent all kind of sound the same. Uh oh. I am going to put. And you did the 3D attenuation needs work. Like like Eventually, I'm going to animate her actually doing that. A trick shot, huh? You're right, going to see the ball? Oh no! This is, he's got an invisible head. I already know you're good. I need to make it so that you can't give it the camera this far back. Uh. That looks like a blood stain, but it's not. <laughs> uh, I've got uh, totally different uh, materials and everything in the scene that I don't use anywhere else in the game to get this really uh, unique look. Uh, this scene took me a really long time to put together. Like I, sp I think I spent all day, like an entire day on the weekend, 12 hours putting this together. But it looks good, don't it? <sighs> yes, I'm walking through the pool table because it hasn't got a collider. <laughs> it's a problem I need to fix. I knew it! Thank you for playing, Comrade uh, Nikolaevna. So much work to do. Just what I think, it's kind of looking good. I'm reminded of how much work. This is part of the reason why I'm streaming is so that I can um, have an easy record to go through of fuck ups. Because it's. It's almost less trouble than recording it myself. She doesn't so, have the same do you shader want to that wreck most gets. Or. <laughs> yeah, it's crawling around. Be cool if this actually swiveled. I'd love to turn some of these into rigid bodies. That's just more trouble. Like, I'd have to spend a lot of extra care to make sure there aren't any extra bugs from that. But it'd kind of be awesome if you could pick things up. Um, I kind of want to, if I have time after all the other important stuff, to have, like, adventure game observations about a lot of the objects. <laughs> It'd probably have to be text, because it'd be hella voice acting. Alright guys, one more game, and then I swear I'm going to bed. At this point, the main consideration about more voice acting is not the cost, it's the um, file size of the game. Oh, more glitches. I need to fix this. This is getting ridiculous. Also, I hope that there's a bug that often happens that the monologue upcoming here hangs on the first line, and that always makes me really sad. It was <sighs> early on Sunday. I was working on it, on the table in the common room. So far not hanging. I was working on it, and at this point, I want people to be thinking, like, what the fuck, and who even is this guy? Break. That's how many years I have left to live. And I've got a bunch of audio so effects I'm on setting this. up this shot over and over. This is, I had to do this TV clutter, so it's this awkward thing of he wants you have to make it look kind of like it was casually it, stuck there, but you're doing it on purpose, and you keep second guessing yourself. Like, is this too regular? Does this not look random and casual enough? Night and night I'm like, I wish I, there needs to be more TVs. So more. I can barely light a cigarette. Some of these have colliders. I and might get stuck here. To be 87 years old. Yay, the whole monologue played. I think I forgot to disappear his outline shell, which is a thing with um, inverted normals. Yeah, exactly. Always more. And uh, so that bit there, the disappearing, is my little sleight of hand so I can um, dispose of every single level we've seen so far and load new stuff. And now we are Valentina again. You can't tell, but she got boobs. Now, to move forward, you have I the power of East Capacitor. Look at what kind of signal you have Anyone to send to it will get this and far. work backwards from there. Don't forget, you can use this switch to change the signal types of the connected transistors. But it should theoretically be possible to get to the I was expecting you a bit that I posted. Um, let's see, this one's more complicated. Um, when I first was designing these, I was like, oh my god, these are going to be so easy. We're going to like, make fun of me for making such easy game. Um, also, there, it's fun. I, I programmed a two outcomes for this. If you go straight for the solution, Valentina says, uh, it feels like I've done this before, but if you don't, uh, you get the whole extended tutorialization. That switch is connected to both transistors. Even if I get one to send the right signal, I it changes to when I try to fix it to uh, the other one. Talking to Valentina to get hints. But this time, make sure to freeze the memory too. So he talks about like, I'll be here if you need any help, but right now he doesn't talk anymore. I need to re-enable that. That's kind of old functionality from pre-refactor that hasn't come back yet. Let's 
time. This is a bit cumbersome too. I need a, there's gotta be a better way to do this, but part of it is hex editing is just kind of inherently cumbersome. Also, the explanation of freezing is kind of bad. Um, and this is slow. I need to be, okay, this one has the text, that's good. I need to restore that for the other levels. Don't stop. Keep going. I love this. Keep going. I, I left another for message for you in the next room. Keep this going. Kind of random. I left another message for you in the next room. I forgot. Don't expect to find it here. I implemented it, but pre refactor, he was getting like increasingly strained and desperate in those messages. The transistor didn't even have enough power to charge the capacitor all the way. I guess it's too late now. I'll reset the memory cell. On the next time round, pause time and I'll tell you the next step. His audio is consistently hotter than hers. I need to, um, oops. You need to find a memory with Turn the value the of the charge Hot in the transistor. Hot meaning in the volume sense. Well, it's a term it of art. maybe three quarters full. So, how so much what about is this that? Is, I've got two I have no idea. Aki, it doesn't really matter. Start by sensing all the memories here. There's unity time and then there's my own game time, which I've made myself. It's a completely separate function dependent of unity game time so that's what i've got paused here so when i when i actually pause the game unity game time stops um and so i've got something uh a script <laughs> that stop that pauses all the particles when um my game time is paused which i think is a fun little effect that oh there's no collider in here that kind of emphasizes like something uh, preternatural has happened uh oh was this head yeah i forgot to fix this <laughs> whoopsie Unpause time, then pause it again immediately. I need to alter this um, tutorial because when I demoed this before, people would uh, be so quick that the uh, value didn't have a chance to go down, which ruined the um, uh, puzzle flow. So I guess I should say unpause time, wait a second, and then uh, pause again. Within the memory addresses you already have, look for values that have gone down. Ta-da. Oh, I feel like no one's gonna get these. I need to, like they're already tutorialized, but I need to tutorialize them better. And that's been the trickiest thing to think about is, part of it is, it's not a programming uh, challenge, it's a design challenge. Um, Cause I even have the messages in the top right telling you exactly what to do, but that feels not quite right because it, it kinda takes the fun out of it if you're told everything, but most people won't find it. <laughs> Oh yeah, those, uh-oh, why did it hang? When those doors close, uh, that's also been a sleight of hand. I delete or unload from memory the previous room when they close. Except now we've hung. That's not good. Uh-oh, why are we hanging? Oh no. That's not good. I'm, I haven't gotten a exception in the dev console yet though yeah what this hasn't happened before what's going on no bad don't why what would have caused it to do that Fuck. Well, I have a theory, actually, that um, it's trying to access... Something is trying to access something that I have destroyed. No, time scale's not fucked. It's to... Um, boo! Okay. But, for those of you watching the stream, we can still have excellent RSA content, because I'll just pick up where I left off um, by loading the room in the editor. Well, now I know. Let me fix that before the expo. So let us uh, uh, switch over to Unity. That beautiful build is just completed. 
actually before I do anything else I want to get the build data which it sucks that it overwrites itself like the next time you do literally anything hey stop that close unity Boo. well if unity wants to cooperate Still, that was, uh, we got about uh, 45 minutes in before a game-breaking bug occurred. They are! I swear to fucking God. I, I mean, probably most people at the expo won't make it that far, so... At least there weren't any game-breakers. Well, except I've got to fix the audio hanging, because that does break the tutorial. <sighs> well, that turned red. It's probably a good sign. If this doesn't cooperate in like two minutes, I will end the stream. But I feel I feel optimistic, feeling good about this. Maybe. Oh, there we go. We're starting to. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, you're complaining about a lot of things. Here, hold up. Thank you for believing in me. I need to, come on, come on. Because <sighs> most important thing from the uh, editor log is um, I've been trying to reduce build file size. Sh -sh 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 -sh. Come on. It's so interesting that whatever caused it to die right there did not trigger a console message in my development build. Okay, log, editor log, piece. Okay. I need to specify default uh, text editor for Unity, because I use Notepad++, which is the superior choice, um, but it always opens it in Windows default. Ah, no dark theme, my eyes. So for those of you who don't know, what's useful about this is, uh, yeah, it lists all your assets and um, how big they are, which is very useful when you're looking at your file size being like, why the fuck is my game this big? And so I was like fussing over, oh my God, it's so much voiceover. Uh, but then I found out that voiceover is only a fraction it's really that I have so many textures, um, but I actually, a lot of them, I kept at default like 2000 something by 2000 something, and I reduced them all to five something by five something, 500 something by 500 something, and I was concerned about that being noticeable, but it's actually not. And uh, about the characters, all of the textures on the characters that Valentina Haas has made are at that 500 by 500 something, uh, resolution and they still look great. Uh, it's so much stuff that it's hard to get to, but believe me, it's it's in here. So let me just save as. What day is today? The 31st? Yeah, this is July 31st. Actually, this build was made on the 30th, but I skipped it off before I went to bed. July 31st, editor build log.txt. Okay, that done. We can now proceed. So we had just beaten cell 5, but I'm going to load it again because I want to see if I can recreate the uh, issue that made it choke in the build. Oh, man. I need to, my project is super dirty. Uh, not dirty, but I mean, it needs to be cleaned up in the sense of, um, like, it's. I've been iterating over this for such a long time that there are a lot of assets that I don't really use, but it's hard to tell immediately at a glance. So at one point, I just need to, like, sit down and do the boring and obnoxious job of uh, cleaning this up. My guess, so I've made this script called Puzzle Door that kills things when uh, you walk through it and that it's something about that is, 
causing trouble. And there's something else. I think I've got a script called like power on or enable on powered and that has caused me problems before. I don't know where it is though. Uh, uh. And oh, I don't have any inclusion data. Well, uh, let's fix that real quick. This is educational, all right? And we'll get back to demoing the game the moment. I'm just going to fix this. All right. Let me, let me make sure. No, you should be static. Yes, you should. Yeah. yeah, you can be st you can be static occludy. Are you static? Yes, you are. Okay. You know what, I bet you have an actual light on there. You don't need that light. You don't need it. Yeah, just go fuck off. Fuck right off. Sorry. I've been uh, trying to optimize. You should be static. Oh, <sighs> cause, yeah. This game really doesn't run well on low-end systems, and I would like to improve this. Anyway, let's take a long time. Just get this one. Could it be an occluder? Probably not. Am I even using that? No, I'm not. This shouldn't even... This is computationally expensive. You go away. I don't know why. It's because I copied each of these rooms. These don't have unique designs. Eventually they will, but it was quick, dirty. All right, let's let's do a bake and then we'll keep going. This one's easy, quick to get through anyway. Flip up, da, da, da. Okay. Get me in a server. Fortunately, unlike, so I did um, a light bake the other night of uh, the title screen, which has one light, one directional light in the entire scene. And that scene is very small. It took, I wrote down how much it took. It was something fucking ridiculous. Light baking, uh, yeah. It took over an hour to bake the lighting. Ugh, fucking ridiculous. Um, but fortunately, occlusion is really fast. I don't know why it takes so fucking long to do lighting, but I kind of need to do that if I really want good performance. Especially because I, if I can't fix these glitches in deferred rendering, I'll have to go back to forward rendering. And uh, if I have forward rendering, the number of lights I have per scene is going to matter a lot. And so for performance rating, I'll have to bake. And it's almost done with the bake. What's up, buddy? He's got lights in his eyeballs. <laughs> All right, have fun. Here we go. We're ready to roll. Let's fire this up. thinking about it. <sighs> Just thinking about it. I need to do my nails again. I should get my nail polish back out here so I can do that while Unity thinks about it. <clears throat> so much time spent on Unity thinking about it. At least I've got my clear goals for the rest of the evening. I had to fix this. 
Oh, right. I don't have the player enabled by default because I'm walking in from the previous scene. Ta-da. Come on. Wakey, wakey. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Oh, I know it's wrong. It has to be, has to have no parent or it gets mad. That's an annoying thing. I should put a script on a player that always just unparents them perpetually. Also, oh, stop that. Stop that. That's a bug I need to fix, but it's a minor one that if you're moving when you press pause, it'll often keep moving. I haven't updated this one in a while, so since I switched to deferred rendering, uh, the scan lines are much more visible, so I did turn them down. Well, let's pop this out so it looks nice on the stream. Thank you for your patience, anyone who's still with me. I don't know if anybody's still with me, but if you are, thank you. Uh, is that... Oh, that's too big. We, huh? There we go. We're almost, transistor didn't even have we're almost power at the to end. charge the capacitor all the way. Whoa. I guess it's still Oh like no, now. it's the short. I'll reset the memory. <laughs> That's right. I haven't updated this player in a while. I think I scaled everything up. It's going to drive me crazy. Okay. It's a wee a little. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Set a reasonable height. Is that reasonable? Probably. And then there was the time when Valentine was too short. It's the... It, it, so, tricky. on the next time round, pause time and I'll tell you the next step. Whoa. Hi. Okay. You need to find a memory with the value of the charge in the transistor. Well, it looks maybe three quarters full. So, how much is that? Oh, no. I have no idea. It doesn't really matter. Start by sensing all the memories here. I forgot if I put a net... If I net, I mean a safety collider that teleports you back up if you fall. Probably should. I have on the first three. Unpause time, then pause it again immediately. We. Oh, that's a bug. He stopped talking. All right, so let's see if I can recreate the bug. No, it didn't. It was fine. What? You didn't... What? Huh? I don't know. Shit. Now I'm spooked because I don't know why it did that then. Doot, doot, doot. Boink. You should be able to get this one on your own, but let me know if you want me to explain loud, anything too. again. Hey, so when am I going to figure out what you're so freaked out about? You'll know everything once you connect to that's a non-volatile memory. Oopsie. What's non-volatile memory? Yeah, that's so memory that will persist even if the timeline it came from doesn't exist anymore. All your memories, they're so made from the signals up. stored in millions of Valentine. capacitors, just like this one. Oh, now he's if they ever lose power, you'll forget everything all over again. That's where non-volatile okay. memory comes in. Memories stored in it are permanent. They're not volatile. If you serialize your memories, turn them into a message, and send them there, that message will be returned to you if you lose them again. When you deserialize the message or open it, your memories will be restored to exactly the way they were when you last saved them. Pretty useful. I would use it if I could, but as you can see, I'm not really here. That doesn't seem like a good idea to me. You'd be replacing your own memories. You would think you were that person. Wait, why are you... <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what the fuck is just... What the fuck? Oh, there's an exception. Let me find out what that was. Our particle system has been destroyed, but you're still trying to access it... Oh, yeah, I know why. It's my bed. I put it on a script called 
time stopper and I can't remember where I put the script. There's probably a way to find it. Oh, here it is. Oh, yeah, I know how to fix that. I can fix that. Well, that wasn't... Oh, hi, okay. Yeah, I can fix that. I know how to fix that. In the meantime, just to satisfy it, I will fix up this array. I think we'll stop freaking out. When am I destroying this, though? I don't... I'm trying to remember. I don't think... Hmm. Alright, that should make it stop fussing. Yeah, I can make sure I can have better air handling around that. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, it hung on the audio. That's a shame. Time stop thing disappeared. That's bad. Although it might have been because of the um, exception. Right. I need to have better feedback of when you're actually hitting something. It should make a sound if it strikes a transistor object. Also, this is way too slow. I don't think I ever tell the player that they can speed up time. I probably should. I know what I did wrong. I just destroyed the previous room of which uh, the player was a part. Oopsie. Yeah, it's mm, my bad. I should have another debug player in here, though. There we go. Oh, no, that was a player I just... Isn't this the room I was just in? Shouldn't... Oh, the door's closed. That's right. And you can go away. We have a debug player in here. Sell something. Yeah, we do. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh. Live debug. Come on, Unity. You can do it. Yeah, oh, oh. This is another one of those. I haven't updated this player at all. Whoa! Uh, now this is supposed to be the Cell 7 player. Not the Cell 8. What? I, you were not supposed to be playing that music yet. This might be another really short player. Let's find out. Let's fix this. Oh, it still has a gooey layer. I got rid of those. Boink. So I've been using a different post-processing profile of late than this one, called Player Shiny. It's a bit more bloom. <laughs> All right, let's see. Am I short? I'll be here. I'll be here. Any I'll be here. Be if you need okay. <laughs> any help, I'll be here. Any help, any help, help. <laughs> I'll be here. You're too loud. I'm gonna turn you down. I get fix that audio. If you need any help, I'll you will. That's all. Just gotta like. He knows. Did I? Oh, I need to deactivate the colliders. I thought I deactivated these colliders. What? Okay, what? Who knows you're scared? Bummer. Now I'm gonna be scared. You should be able to get this one on your own, but let me know if you want me to explain anything again. 
you're doing that on purpose. I'll be Everybody. here if you need any help. I think I hate you. I predicted you would say that. Oh. Uh oh. Protein couldn't be started because the game object cell 7 Valentine is inactive. Who is calling that? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, set emotion 590. Uh -oh. Just copy this so I can fix it later. I strongly suspect I know how to fix this. Oh, you're not going to let me copy it? Okay. Let's take a note. If I set him active, it'll stop complaining. Because what it is, is I have it that uh, after... Oh, he is active. What? Wait. Oh, no, the script is enabled, but the object's not active. Boink. Okay. Oops. Oopsie. Oh, stop. Whoa, hey, no, don't do that. God damn it, Unity. For fuck's sake! Alrighty, alrighty. We're almost, we're almost done. Oh, did, do I not have a, oh, there's not a, pause menu. I feel like I'd want one. Why don't I have a pa I need a touch from this player. Uh, just throw one into the scene. Okay. There we go. Now we have one. Just, I, just, I feel like I need one. Well, also it's because um, what I've got on the pause menu is this little debug tool that let, it's, it's for taking screenshots because otherwise I couldn't because it would track the view would track the mouse but anyway and then that should be disabled before i ship this game uh oh i don't really want to load these things yet and that's bad well this is i'm sure nobody at the expo thing will make it this far also uh this room obviously won't be solved by default oh you your audio is supposed to trigger you're supposed to have your dramatic death scene no, why did you not doing that? Boo. Oh, I know. It's because after the room is solved, it increments the room, and the uh, condition for him uh, having his scene triggered is if it's the correct room. Oh, uh, well, at least I know how to fix that problem. And this is, yes, the end of the gameplay content. But there's... Whoa! Okay. I did it again. It's because, um, uh, the player here is supposed to be a uh, don't destroy on load object. I mean... Ta-da! I pre was prepared for this contingent. Well, no wonder it wouldn't have worked in the build. I'm only able to do this because I'm in the editor. There's another bug that popped up, and I don't know why because it used to work, but, um, Valentine here is no longer a 3D sound. You're all right. Jeez, I thought you died or something. Or is it? Which kind of kills it. If you can the hear what he's saying clearly the entire time, hey, then it kind of um, kills the reward for the player for sticking around. Because if you stick around, you get to preview some audio from later in the game. And then you get a cool monologue. And it's kind of a bonus for the player, because I seriously don't expect people to, like, just sit around and wait for him to say a bunch of things that they've already heard. Sad face. Uh, I can't wait to incorporate some mocap or something. How? Yo, so. If you wait long enough, he'll get into a monologue. 
Yeah, there's a monologue. Ooh, it's kind of cool to see the ceiling through that particle effect. Actually, I hadn't seen that before. But anyway, now that I've started, the, I've waited long enough, now I'm not going to hear it. Okay, so the 3D attenuated sound is her sit working now. I don't know why it wasn't working before. Oh, one less bug to fix, I guess, unless I can repro. We're almost at the end, everybody. We're almost at the end. Is anybody even still watching this? Am I alone? Oh, I'm not alone. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody, for sticking around. All right. We've almost made it. So this is fun. Um, this is a wire. F oh, uh-oh. Transparency is not playing nice with deferred rendering. I have to go back to forward rendering. Yeah, wireframe shader, which is probably actually, it looks primitive, but it's probably more computationally expensive than using a normal shader. Uh, but, oh, this is a shader that I'm really proud of that I made back in February or March, and then I stopped using it. I was very sad. But now I get to use it again for the stained glass windows. I didn't make these textures. I'll probably make my own eventually, because I, any, there are a lot of placeholder assets here, but I want to make as many of my own textures as possible. And that just will take me sitting down for several days. Uh-oh. She was supposed to be invisible. You're not supposed to be able to see her. Oopsie. It's not supposed to happen. That was working last night. I was testing this. Because, <sighs> of course, how I'm doing... Um, to make sure that the player is exactly where I want them when the scene starts, I just have another player. I've been mesh. expecting you. No, that head jerk was not happening last night. It's probably because he's supposed to look at the main player unless... You are supposed to be invisible. The fuck is going on? Hold on, I need to check what's going on. Uh-huh. All right, I put her on a layer of water because I didn't want to put her on the layer. Uh-oh, I need to fix that, okay. Test player. Camera should not be, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. All right, I just have to remember to fix that. This is why it's good that I'm streaming, because it often happens if I'm playing test playing and I'm looking for one specific bug, I'm focused on that, and then I don't write down all the niggling little bugs I see on the way. I'll just look at the VOD later. Oh, that's it. That's that's it. Actually, that's all the. That's everything that's in this build. The build that's gonna happen. Uh, you know, you're supposed to look at me. This worked last night! What the fuck? Don't look at her! Look at me! Why is- this was working last night. And I haven't- I haven't dev done this since last night. I don't know what the fuck. At least his head tracking's still working. The fuck are you looking at? Also, this is going crazy. It's the transparency again. Let's get rid of this object. Fuck it. Anyway, thanks for joining, everybody. Uh, this is all the content in the build right now. Also, let's test this. I put colliders here so you couldn't jump into the void. They appear to be working. Good. Yeah, no vaporwave void. It's not as interesting as it sounds. I fell into the void the other day, and all you do is you... There's no collider on that, so you just clip right through into um, the basement. It's not that interesting. Uh-oh, you should be able to see the ba fucking alpha transparency, I swear to God. All right, that's all. Good night, everybody. Thanks for joining.